So if we um, if we type in say Alex and pass one two three, we've got Alex and pass one two three. Now let's type in this value that we typed in earlier. So we've got um, we've got a, a semi uh, sorry we've got a single quotation mark a space or and uh, two single quotation marks equals single quotation mark. Uh, let's go ahead and press oh no we'll put it in here as well so. Uh, there we go. Let's press enter. You can see that these values have been transferred through literally. So nothing's changed. We've transferred the exact data that we've typed into the form. Now, this is the reason that our SQL can be modified. So with uh, as it stands at the moment, if we had these uncommented, we could run um, a query, query of our choice. So let's go ahead and um, uncomment this. Now we've... Um, we've processed our query um, if something was in here now to delete something or modify something then this is deadly however in our user login system we are creating an if statement to check how many rows have been returned because if the username and password don't equal the same thing in this in the same record then we can't log the user in because their credentials obviously don't match and we will have an invalid username and password combination so let's go ahead and create this if statement Let's go MySQL num row. So we're calling this function, which is going to count the amount of rows returned by this query here. So we can type in query run there. So if the uh, MySQL num rows um, returned from the query are greater than or equal to one, this means that the credentials match both the username and password. So we can echo login success. Usually we wouldn't do this. Um, at this point in here, we would process um, some kind of uh, session uh, to equal the ID from the database but for now we're just using this as an example so otherwise invalid um, username password combination combination okay yeah so let's go ahead and try this um, with the values that we submit so I'm going to keep this um, I'm going to keep this open and I'm going to break down again Okay, so let's go back and go straight onto our index.php file. Let's type in Alex and a wrong password, so pass456. Now we've got Alex, Alex as the username, pass456 as the password, and we've returned the message invalid username and password combination, because nowhere in our table do we have Alex and pass456 as the uh, username and password. So now what we can do is uh, we'll go and submit some uh, correct data. So Alex and pass123, these uh, match here. So we've got Alex as the username and password, 123 as the password. Click submit and it says login success because we've successfully submitted the username and password that match inside of our table. So now let's go ahead and use this example that we used earlier by writing um, a um, semi uh, single quotation mark or double quotation mark equals double quotation mark and what this is going to do is it's going to structure our query as we discussed earlier and it's just going to put into here and the password as well that or that equals that so that's going to go into our uh, query and uh, we're going to return uh, more than one row therefore the user is automatically uh, logged in so let's go ahead and um, click submit. Okay, so you can see that the username is um, is a single quotation mark or single quotation mark single quotation mark equals single quotation mark, and the password is also that as well. And now you can see interestingly we've got a login success here. So this is a real problem when it comes to our user our user. Um, login system if you like because what we've done is now anyone can type these values in and unfortunately they can log in as um, a user um, when they maybe don't have access so how can we protect against this well I'm going to show you three different ways now that we can protect against this uh, specific error for your own queries you might need to slightly modify this um, but now I'm just going to talk about this so you, we can get the general idea of how we can start to protect now the first problem we look at is the um, is the single quotation marks. The single quotation marks need to be escaped in order for them not to work. So for example, if we were submitting, um, let's go this, if we were submitting the data like this and escaping that 
that, that, and that. So let's copy and paste that into here. And we click Submit. You see that we get an invalid username password combination. So we need some way to escape the different characters. Now there's something in PHP and something in the php.ini file which I've just opened here. If you don't know how to open this or don't know how to edit things from it, uh, you can find uh, a tutorial on that as well. What we have here is we have magic quotes GPC. And you can see the comment just above it is magic quotes for incoming get, post or cookie data. And what this is going to do is it's going to escape, like I've just written here, um, these automatically when you submit data. So it's not foolproof because we might not be submitting through um, a post or a get or even cookie. So uh, let's go ahead and um, turn this on. And in a moment we're going to turn it off and all, I'm going to show you how you can also, also uh, include this if it's automatically say off on your server. So let's go ahead and restart um, Apache from our XAMPP control panel. So remember every time you make a change in your php.ini file you must restart Apache. Okay, so um, let's come back to our page uh, and wait for localhost. Uh, right, okay. So our, our, our server has been restarted and we've turned magic quotes on. So now let's go ahead and do exactly the same thing and click submit. Now you can see that without doing anything, we've automatically now escaped. Well, we did do something. We changed the value in php.ini, but what we didn't do is change any of our code. And this has automatically given us some sort of protection against SQL injection.